as the controversy continues to snowball over remarks made by a BJP spokesperson since suspended over the profit and continue to convulse the Islamic world in particular, I'm joined by a very special guest, the former vice president and an expert and authority on West Asia where he served for several years, Mr. Hamid Ansari. Appreciate your joining us, Mr. Ansari. How do you see this controversy, particularly in West Asia, where several of the countries have protested and condemned the Indian government and India also? It is not only West Asia. It is Indonesia, it is Iran, and countries all across the board. You see, the point is, every faith has got certain touch points. Every faith, irrespective of what the faith is. In the case of Muslims, the personality of the Prophet of Islam is very, very important and references to it always have to be very carefully done. So when somebody goes out of his or her way and say rude things about the person, I mean, mind you, these are historic personalities uh, 1500 years back, and yet the sensitivity and is very great. The reason I'm asking you this is, A, there are those who will say that West Asia is no one to lecture us, or indeed the Islamic world. Many of these countries do not respect human rights themselves. Who is Pakistan, for example, a serial offender of minority rights to, to lecture India? Who is Afghanistan, ruled by the Taliban, to lecture India on minority rights or human rights? How does that fit in with what you just said, respect the sentiments of people? You see two things. There are sentiments of followers of a faith. I'm not talking of na nationals of a country. I'm talking of followers of a faith. Now, faith is a unifying thing. No, in fact, effectively, then you're talking about wider Islamic brotherhood, as if anything said in India by a TV sp party spokesperson in a TV studio then enrages the entire Islamic world. Because it affects every Muslim. The sentiment-wise, it affects every Muslim. Every Muslim practicing, non-practicing, whether it is in Africa, whether it is in uh, the Arab world, whether it is in Asia, where my, the great majority of Muslims actually live. 70% of Muslims of the world are in four, five Asian countries. Indonesia, Bangladesh, India, China, uh, Pakistan, maybe Turkey. But is Iran. But isn't this politics of offended sentiments a very dangerous track to go on? Because tomorrow there could be Hindus in this country who will say, for example, when M.F. Hussain, the great painter, would uh, 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 painted in a manner that was seen to be offensive to Hindu gods and goddesses. He, he, got, it. he got security in Qatar, the same Qatar, which has been the first country in a way to stand up and protest against India. No. People felt offended. Mr. Hussain uh, accepted that and he paid the price for it. So the question is in matters of faith, you have to be very careful, very sensitive. It's not a question of correctness in uh, logical terms. You're not, you don't accept the argument that this is an overreaction to blame virtually to suggest that India itself, to use the OIC uh, statements, uh, India must address incidents of defamation and insult to profit and then goes on to say the OIC statement, the growing spate of hatred and defamation of Islam in India cites the hijab ban, bulldozers, alleged violence against Muslims. One statement made, unfortunate, slanderous by uh, a, a party spokesperson in a TV studio should not lead to this kind of wide condemnation of India as a country, surely. Wouldn't you consider that this is something which has been happening over time? People are not talking about it, but it's happening over time. We've seen it happen in different parts of the country. You and I live here, so we know, you know. For example, I mean, recently, elections in the biggest state of the country, UP. Great efforts were made, you know, to assume provocative positions. It is to the credit of the minority community in UP 
that they did not get provoked. And it is to the credit of their leadership or religious leadership to say to the public, don't get provoked. So this is not something which is happening suddenly. It has been happening over time. We've seen it happen over 10 years or more. 